Hello, this is Alec Kerr, the critic for the Conway Daily Sun, and I just wanted to address an item that's a little bit dated, but I just came across it recently, and I really think it needs to have some light shed on it. Um, February 27th, Lily Allen, uh, the English singer, uh, posted a blog on her MySpace regarding an incident with the New York Times. Now, New York Times approached her to do a cover story for their art section, which, which she found very flattering, and they sent over a reporter. She had a lovely time with the reporter, and then a photographer was sent to her apartment to get her, you know, in her apartment. And she was a little skeptical about that, but because it's the New York Times, she figured, you know, why not? They're one of the most prestigious papers in the world. And so the feature ran, and she was, you know, it was very flattering, and she was, you know, she loved the feature. But then a week or two after that, the photos that didn't run with the story appeared in the gossip, uh, the celebrity gossip magazine, OK, and under the headline, World Exclusive at Home with Lily Allen, and there was an implication that they had done an interview with her. Uh, which they hadn't. And for the, to the credit, um, OK did apologize for running the photos without her knowledge and for implying that they had interviewed her. Now, the New York Times is hiding under the fact that they just were syndicating their photos, and that's how newspapers make a lot of their money. Now, there's, it's one thing for a newspaper like the New York Times to syndicate its photos and its articles to legitimate newspapers, but selling them to a tabloid like OK Magazine which you know they got paid a lot of money for, is, is just low and well below the standards of the New York Times. And I think it's a sad reflection on, on the state of journalism that, that the New York Times, which truly is one of the most prestigious papers in the newspaper, would, would sink to that level. And I know newspapers are falling on hard times and they're closing left and right and going bankrupt, but that just doesn't seem like the solution because what they're doing is they're ruining their credibility. Now if they approach an artist to do an exclusive with them, they might not be willing to let them into their homes for photos because they know they've, they've, they've set precedent that they could sell those photos to the highest bidder. And that's just, a real, that's just really sad to me and, and a little bit disturbing um, because you know, the New York Times has set the standard and if they're, if they're lowering their, their standards, what does that mean for everybody else? And, you know, I don't have the answer for how newspapers can save themselves, but I know that's not the answer. So my question I'm going to pose to the people that watch this video is what do you think newspapers should do to try to save themselves? Uh, leave a comment or a video response with, uh, with your thoughts. And, um, hey, maybe we, can, maybe we can solve it. I don't know. But anyway, this is Alec, and uh, keep watching.